Uh, today's little project is a Sony little auto docking clock radio XDR DS16 IP. The problem with this little fella is the display. So we just come down here and you'll see pretty clearly that uh, some of the lines are missing and basically what uh, what happens is um, I'm just pressing the, the dimmer there backlights are alright um, but the lines are getting fainter and fainter and, and, and harder and harder to see there you go so you can see there that that top display is pretty stuffed um, and the next lines of text are pretty stuffed so I'd be pretty certain that it's just a um, uh, possibly uh, a bit of a, a leak inside or a loose uh, ribbon cable connection so you can't even read the clock so even if I tilt that up which often helps with contrast it's a little bit better but still not enough to actually read it so I'm going to see if I can fix it credit Sony I pulled this thing apart and there are almost too many screws I've got to say uh, there are small screws and there are long screws so keep a bit of an eye out as to which screws go where so that when you put it all back together you know which ones came from which spot so the top of the unit was quite tricky to pull apart. I just used a flat blade to gently lever the top control panel off. Uh, and then I found that there are probably another 15 or 20 silver screws all around the perimeter of the speaker enclosure. This has actually got some quite good quality speakers in it and the sound is actually really good for such a small unit. Anyway, it was a pain in the butt to pull apart, but here's the uh, LCD dismantle. So I finally got the display out. So I'll turn that over, that's the display module, and I'll show you in a sec what I think the problem is. So all these connection pins seem to be okay, but there is a little, little SMD transistor here that looks pretty, um, pretty fried to me, so I'm going to have to see if I can find what that is and replace it. I'll come out to, uh, to the good old shed and I've got my trusty soldering iron. I'm going to solder all of these little beads, uh, these little pin connectors along the back here. Um, often if, if you get a dry joint in here, uh, and I'll re-solder the power supply pins there too, often if you re-solder these, sometimes you can make good a crappy connection. Um, so we'll see how we go. Certainly can't hurt. So this process of reflowing solder is pretty common and it's really, really useful on ribbon cables and components uh, like that. You just got to be super careful you don't overlap joints. So all I'm going to do is use my multimeter and hear that beep. I'm just going to go along each of these pins and just check that my soldering hasn't breached any of the, of the pins. No, it looks good. Simple check. Because if I accidentally soldered those together, I'd be stuffed. Water. Okay, about not totally fixed, but a lot better. Trauma, so, with, uh, try it. You can still see it's a little bit glitchy still, but at the right angle, it's okay. Stuff. At the wrong, and wrong and angle, this it's done, unreadable on still. All of that. So, it's all about, you know, it. So, that is vastly improved. It's still got a couple of lines across it, but it's entirely readable. At full brightness. Nice.